Well, the state eviction moratorium ends today, and Bay Area renters may be wondering whether they can be forced out of their homes if they cannot afford the rent. KTVU investigative reporter Brooks Giroux spoke with a tenant attorney about what renters and landlords need to know. Let's begin with this. Do Bay Area renters have any protections once the eviction moratorium comes to an end? So it really depends on where the tenant resides. This all hinges on whether or not their moratoriums, um, you know, as particular city or county's moratoriums were in effect prior to August 2020 and that there were no further extensions or amendments to those moratoriums. So it really does depend. And I encourage tenants to reach out to their local jurisdictions, their rent boards and to their cities to find out exactly what the um, status is of their local moratoriums. You know, we look at a county like Alameda and there are stronger protections there mainly because of the local emergency order. But if that were to lift, what would that mean and do we have any idea when that may lift? So Alameda County is a good example of one of the um, jurisdictions that does have a local state of emergency still in place that appears that um, they have met the requirements for state law in order to continue their protections despite the expiration of the state laws. So as of right now, um, there is no specific date attached to the expiration of Alameda County's moratorium. Instead, it's open-ended until the local state of emergency is lifted and then from there um, according to their ordinance the, the once the moratorium is lifted tenants will have an additional 60 days of protection you know this can be very confusing to tenants because if you live in a city like Berkeley or Oakland they have their own rules so when you look at all this which rules prevail is it the state is it the county is it the city Mm -hmm. So generally speaking, when we have competing laws, um, like the, your example there, uh, the, it's typically the law that provides the most protections to the tenant will be the one that the tenant should follow. What about for counties that don't have additional protections, like Solano County, Santa Clara County, come October 1st, could a landlord start the eviction process and kick a renter out? It's back to business as usual, I'm sorry to say. So what would you recommend tenants do if they're falling behind or struggling paying rent? My recommendation is, is to search their cities and counties for any um, possible uh, organizations out there that might be providing additional rent relief beyond what the state has been offering, um, you know, nonprofits, uh, churches, any other organizations that they might be able to find through their mayor's office potentially to seek out um, a, you know, other organizations that might be able to provide relief. The other um, recommendation would be to, if, if you've had a fairly cooperative relationship with your landlord so far, that's a good sign that possibly they don't want to you know, take the nuclear option, so to speak, and they may be willing to work with you. It doesn't hurt to reach out to the landlord and see if there's some ability to negotiate and come to some sort of amicable resolution here for the tenant to be able to continue to stay housed and the landlord to eventually get paid. Brooks Jarose, KTVU Fox 2 News.